Hello. Hello. Yeah, what's your name? My name is Rose George. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I am um, the author of a book called The Big Necessity, uh -huh. The Unmentionable World of Human Waste and Why It Matters, mm -hmm. also known as The Shit Book. And what's The Shit Book? What is it about? And what have you learned from while researching it? And what does the book talk about? The book talks about shit in all sizes, shapes, forms, societies, income brackets, countries. Um, I visited 10 countries. I went from like the best toilets in the world in Japan, which are robo-controlled and, and automatic and uh, amazingly intricate, to countries that have no toilets whatsoever. So where, in fact, a quarter of the world's population live. And who, uh, often the only toilet they have is the side of a road or a bush if they're lucky or if they're really lucky a plastic bag which was really shocking to me to find out that that's what a quarter of the world's population have to put up with is um, absolutely no toilet whatsoever so how is going to, how do you think in your mind or from your research this is going to pan out how do i think the sanitation crisis is going to be solved well the first thing we have to do is talk about it mm -hmm. i think a lot of um, a lot of the time there is the assumption that this is a conversational taboo mm -hmm. and that we can't talk about it. But they said that about HIV AIDS 20 years ago mm -hmm. and people now talk about it quite easily. Mm -hmm. We can say condoms and sex. So why can't we say shit? Mm -hmm. Why can't we talk about diarrhea? Mm -hmm. Why can't we you know, talk about the fact that in the next 15 seconds another kid is going to die from diarrhea? Mm -hmm. Which is, luckily in my country where I come from it's, it's just something that you get over in a couple of days. But I know what it is, but I didn't know before I started writing this book that children were still dying of it, nor did I know that it was the second biggest killer of children in the world. And these are really powerful messages, and I don't think they're getting out. And do you think, uh, what do we need to, to start talking more about this? We need to start talking more, we need to stop being ashamed of it. The trouble is that, in, in certainly in the West, I mean in India for example, very plain speaking Indians. I mean, Gandhi, for heaven's sake, said that sanitation was more important than independence. That's a really powerful thing to say from the father of Indian independence, but it's, I don't see that being said or used as a quote. But where I come from, there's this assumption that we have this flush toilet and we've put it in this nice private room, and at the same time, we've been able to flush everything out of sight and out of mind, so we, we simply don't address it. And yet, my experience is that people are quite happy talking about this, this stuff. I remember going to a wedding once and um, somebody asked me what I was writing about and I, I said well you don't want to talk about it over dinner and um, but I told them and within for the next hour and a half um, everybody around that table was sharing their toilet stories telling their toilet anecdotes and I was not even contributing I couldn't shut them up <laughs> everybody wants to talk about this and as long as there are, you can do it in certain ways and means if you use certain vocabulary and and, and if you're creative and clever and colourful, you can get people to talk about this. Okay. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you.